If it's getting really cold where you're at, it's time to make some cozy soup. And this one is fantastic. It goes with grilled cheese, steak, chicken, or a bright salad. Let's jump in. The first step is going to be peeling and chopping the butternut squash. Once peeled, go ahead and chop the ends off. You can save those for veggie stock if you want. Okay, so setting the top portion aside for now, we're going to take care of the seeds. So I like to save these seeds and you can roast them and they're gonna be a nice crunchy treat. We're gonna set this aside and we'll deal with these later. Next, we're gonna chop up the butternut squash. An easy rough chop is perfect. We're going to be roasting these on a cookie sheet. I lined mine with parchment paper. Add your butternut squash. We're gonna set that aside and then chop our onion. For this recipe, I'm using a yellow onion. You can use shallots or red onion as well. Add these to the cookie sheet as you go. Usually this recipe calls for two large carrots. I bought the Costco size bag of baby carrots, so that's what we're gonna be adding to the cookie sheet. I added about a cup in total. We're also going to be adding some whole garlic cloves. I do between five and six because I like the flavor, but you can add garlic powder if you don't have garlic cloves on hand. Add a couple tablespoons of oil, salt and pepper, and give everything a really good toss. I'm baking these at 375 degrees until fork tender. That's usually about 15 to 20 minutes, though it could take longer depending on how large you cut your veggies. So I took the butternut squash seeds and I washed them and now we're gonna dry them and season them. It's a really crunchy topping and it is so good. So they're gonna be a little bit wet, so we need to dry them off. Then we're going to add them to a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper. The parchment paper makes sure that it doesn't stick. So I like to season mine with a little smoked paprika, garlic, salt, and olive oil, about a teaspoon. Give this a really good toss, and then spread them out so they have as much room as possible. This will help them get really crunchy. I'm just gonna toss these on the top shelf while the veggie is baking. This will help them start to get crispy and will take advantage of the oven already being on. A good bowl of soup would not be complete without something extra crunchy and usually in the form of a carb on top. We're gonna be making those toasted English muffins with garlic butter topped with Parmesan. To prep these, it's super easy. We're just going to break them apart in half. You're gonna lay them face side up on a cookie sheet now we need to get the butter ready. Taking about two tablespoons of salted butter, add it to a little dish and we're gonna soften it in the microwave. Once the butter is softened, this actually got a little too softened, but it doesn't matter, it can just go straight on the English muffin. We're gonna add garlic powder. I like to add about a teaspoon, but you can add extra if you like it super garlicky. I don't know if anything gets better than butter. <laughs> Evenly spread out the butter onto the English muffin. These will go in the oven once your soup is simmering. Then we're gonna add a little Parmesan on top, turn the broiler on and it's gonna get really crispy and it's gonna be delicious. Okay, the veggies have been in for 20 minutes so we're gonna check them for fork tenderness. They're super close. You could probably go just a little bit longer like this. They do still continue to cook in the pot. We're gonna put them in for five more minutes. Butternut squash seeds are done. They were only in for about 15 minutes. You can see they're nice and browned and just look so good. So we're gonna set these aside to cool and then they're gonna be a little bit of a crunchy topping on top of the soup. Today I'm using the stock that comes in the form of paste. This is a really easy way to have it stored in the fridge and you just mix it with hot water. You can also use homemade stock or the one that comes in the box. I'm using a Dutch oven style stock pot but you can just use a stainless steel one if that's all you have. Turning our heat on medium high, you're going to go ahead and just add all your veggies to that pot. It's time to get some stock in here, so I'm going to add just enough water to cover the vegetables. Next, add in a good heaping tablespoon or two of the paste if you're using it. At this stage, I like to just test for saltiness because we don't add any like cream or anything like that that would take away. So if it tastes good to you, you're good to go. Otherwise, add in a little bit more veggie stock or some salt and pepper. We're going to immerse and blend this. All right, 
It's gonna start to splatter, so we're gonna turn the heat to low and get it covered. Low heat is just going to allow the flavors to meld, but at this point, your soup is pretty much done. While your flavor is melding, we're going to get these English muffins nice and crispy. Throw them into the oven on convect, if you have it, on 325. After just a few minutes, we're going to turn our oven to broil. You can see the butter is getting nice and melted here. Now we're gonna add the Parmesan cheese. Toss these back in. Okay, it's time to serve this up. The English muffins are golden and brown and ooey and gooey. Let's do it. We have a delicious bowl of that soup, so we're gonna dress her up and get ready to taste it. Fresh cracked pepper, then some ground nutmeg, those toasted seeds, finally a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And look at this, I don't know what cozy is if it's not this bowl of soup. I'm so happy right now. The seeds are crunchy, the Parmesan cheese is ooey and gooey, and this English muffin is honestly going to be a new staple in my house. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching.